Hey, Michael Mike's Bags, and today I am reviewing the Ahoy by Black Flag Cornhole. When I got this bag in, I recognized these two materials. In fact, this is the exact same material combination as one of my favorite bags. So I was really excited to get out and throw these bags and see how they played. Let's go ahead and dive in. We'll break this bag down. Slow side of the Ahoy. This is the same material that all cornhole uses on the fast side of the slide, right? But they flip it over and use the back side of that material. Same slow side you find on the Pro Sniper, the Costello, the Witcher. A lot of bags use it. It's a fast but controllable material. I call it about a six speed in, in most conditions, and that's what it plays with here. And in humidity, when boards get sticky and damp, it will slow down some, but it still it still moves for a little bit until you get a lot of moisture on the board, then it just kind of gets to the point where it's not moving at all. But six speed for normal dry conditions. It's a, like I said, it, for me, this is the material for, for, I'm more of a harder thrower, more of a power thrower. This is a material when I pull out, when I want to run bags in the hole. I love the speed of this bag. I love the control of this bag. I love the fact that when I'm throwing, if I miss, it's not just flying off the back. So this is a great speed for running the hole. But if you're more of a higher arc thrower, more of a finesse thrower, softer landing bag, you can step down to this bag and, and play it more of a dirty style game. So there's a lot of versatility in what you can do with this material. But six speed on the slow side. Fast side, this is that game changer, surefire, fast side material, eight and a half. It's fast. It's great for pushing, collecting, sliding up boards, any condition. So we got a six, eight and a half. Exact same material combination you find on the Black Sheep Costello, which if you saw that review of mine, absolutely loved that bag. This bag plays just like that. In fact, there's one slight change here in the fill that I think Black Flag did here, which is a slight improvement. It makes this bag just ever so slightly better to the Costello to me. And I'll get to that in just a moment here. Template-wise, this is a medium template bag, medium amount of fill. I'm going to call it a medium amount of flop, although it's borderline getting on the floppy side. It's not an overly floppy bag, but it does have flop to it, which gives the bag a ton of forgiveness, a ton of forgiveness on the landing. So this bag doesn't have a lot of kicks. If you don't throw the flattest of bags, this bag's not going to punish you. And that has to do with the flop, but also with the fill. It's a, it's a mixed fill, but it's an all-flat mixed fill. So it has that flat disc fill as well as the flat fill in there. So it's, it's the... It's the thin, really thin, flat disc with the thicker, flat, like, beads that are squashed down flat on both sides. I don't feel any beads in here. It's hard to tell to open it up. I don't think there's any beads. If there is, there's not many. So it's it's a, it's a mixed fill. And this is the difference. The Costello is all flat disc. My issue with flat disc fill is that they do have a tendency to sometimes want to hang on the whole way. And I'm nitpicking because I love that Costello. I really love it. And, and I think of that bag as a whole friendly bag. But sometimes it would hang on the whole. I think by adding that flat fill along with the flat disc, you help Ate ever so slightly the whole from this. And, and again, I don't I didn't have an issue with this bag hanging whatsoever. It, it was it's it it you watch here that these bags just melt all two very whole friendly materials. So I'm nitpicking, but that's the big difference between this and the Costello. And I, I I really like the way it plays. I love the amount of fill they put in here because typically a floppy bag, when I grab it, my butterfly grip and try, and try to lock it down, there's just a ton of flop, a ton of movement, and that makes it hard for me to control. When the bag's constantly moving as I'm releasing. It's hard to be consistent with how I'm releasing. But there's just enough fill in here that when I grab it, I can lock the bag down. I, I eliminate that flop. It gives me complete control of the bag. So I love, I love the template size. I love the amount of fill. I love the materials. I love what, everything, what, what Black Flag did with this bag. Uh, they put a lot of thought into it, and I think they made a great bag here. Kind of jumping ahead, but I absolutely love this bag. And you'll, you'll watch here as I'm throwing it. I, I had a lot of fun throwing it. These bags are also ACL stamped for 2024. These have the comp stamp on them. And I'll take one moment here just to reiterate that the comp stamp and pro stamp, there's no difference in quality of the bags. This bag is not in any way less than a pro stamp bag. The only difference is if you are a pro player play, playing in a pro only event like a pro shootout, you have to have a pro stamp bag. For those of us who aren't pros like me and 99.9% .9 of you watching this, maybe 100% of you watching this, we don't need a pro stamp bag. We can throw comp stamp bags at any ACL events, whether it's locals, regionals, conferences, opens, whatever. We can throw a comp stamp bag. So don't let the comp stamp on here. De deter you from buying a set of these bags it, it's 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 no difference right it's just a money thing for black flag but based on where they are to how many pro stamps how many comp stamp bags they can have but again no difference at two so don't let don't let that stamp bother you it's an acl stamp bag you play an acl events you can throw these ahoys there leads me to playability on this bag and this is a bag that is for me and the way i play this is a bag where i'm running bags in the hole i'm just putting bag after bag in trying to outscore my opponent the bag like i said both these materials are very hole friendly I, I didn't have an issue with them really hanging on the hole. If they did hang at all, very collectible. You're coming in, you're just clipping them, they're going to melt in. It doesn't take much at all to catch them. Now, if they were on the back edge, the back corner, the back of the hole, or the back corners, a little harder if they weren't hanging enough in and they're just barely hanging there, you'd have to get a little more aggressive to pull them in. But if they're on the front or the sides, you can, you can bring them in. This material has enough grip to it that i could throw a cut shot you're not throwing harsh cuts this, this bag again is very forgiving it's not it's not gonna it doesn't have that kick to it that you want to throw a really good cut 
but I could get some subtle cuts with it, enough that if I had a bag hanging, I could throw a cut shot. I had to go across the board, clip it, and pull it back in. So I, I had no problem going after bags as long as they're around the hole. I feel like I, if they were around the hole, I could get them if I wanted to. The bags also are very collectible for pushing. Even though they have flop to them, they don't record enough, so they're very collectible. If you leave a bag short, if you throw an intentional blocker, you can come in, clean it up. Fast sides, plenty fast for pushing through multiple bags. If you've got your opponent's throwing blockers up there and you're throwing back blockers and you want to clean up the end, plenty of speed on this fast side to come through and push bags in. I didn't have an issue with these bags bunching or clogging the hole whatsoever. There's enough flop here to kind of fold in and melt right in the hole really well. Uh, these bags, because they are floppy, is they do a great job of grabbing the hole. Gives you that large landing zone. And I tell you all the time about the, the where you have to, that rectangle box, you have to land the bag and put it in the hole. These floppier bags, you can widen that zone because all you got to do is get a corner to grab the hole. It'll grab, spin around, come back in. And these bags do a great job. And you'll watch here. I'm not real consistent with where I'm hitting, where I'm landing the bags. I'm kind of off, missing left, missing right, whatever. But this bag is still grabbing, spinning around, coming in. Whichever side I go, it grabs, spinning around, pulls it right back in. So these bags are very forgiving. They kind of help make up for your mistakes. Really improve your PPR. In my mind, this is a, this is a PPR improver. This is not a great dirty style bag, more for the occasional blocker. However, as I, as I mentioned, if you're more of a finesse thrower, have a little softer throw, and you throw faster bags, this is a great material to step down to where you can throw more blockers. If you're wanting a bag to throw blockers, but you don't like those really sticky, slow bags, this is a great bag to step into, still give you that control, but you can you can still play your hole for hole style game. You're not sacrificing a lot of hole friendliness with it. So love the way the bags played. I, I had a blast with them. It, it, it really fits. For me, this is the perfect fast bag and, and, and my style of play. And, and honestly, I love the choice of this side of the material. I don't think this slow side needs that faster material. A lot of times you'll find companies that put the same slow side on, they'll flip this material over and put that Pro Sniper Viper fast side out, which is just ever so slightly faster. And it's it's too much because you don't really have a sticky material here. So it doesn't take much to push this material through. So I found there's a blocker there. It doesn't take a lot to push. In fact, I was collecting mostly slow side. I still push through and collect most of the slow side. The only time I'm flipping over fast side is it's my last bag. Or if, I, if a bag's further down, I really got to push it up further up the board. Then I'll go I'll go slick side on this. Or if I have multiple bags, then I'll push slick side to go through. But if it's just one bag sitting there right at the hole, you know, a level one or even kind of halfway hanging the hole, I'm going slow side, pushing, either push or replace or push and probably follow through. So I, I love the material combination. I, it, it's one of my favorite material combinations. It's definitely my favorite when I want to go fast bags on this. So love what, what Black Flag gives these a hoist. It leads me to availability, and Black Flag has a website, blackflagcornhole.com. I'll put a link in the description, as always, for you guys. These Ahoys, they were running 55 to 60 bucks, depending on the design, when I went on there and looked. So 55 60 bucks plus it's $12 shipping, so 67 to $72. Phenomenal price for an ACL stand bag. Wonderful bag. Like, I can't recommend this. At that price, I can't recommend this enough. Go get yourself a set. If you're looking for a six, eight and a half style bag, or you're looking for a bag, this bag sounds like something you're a bit interested in trying. If you've been thinking about trying the Costello, go grab these Ahoys. I, to me, these are just ever so slightly better than that Costello. And I love that Costello. It's one of my favorite bags, but I got a feeling this is going to replace those bags in my backpack. When I do want to take a Costello, I'm pulling these Ahoys out and taking them with me. I just love the way they play. So definitely check them out. If you throw in the bags, I'd love to hear your feedback, what you like, what you don't like. Let me know. Drop a comment down below to, to tell me your opinions on the bags. I thank you guys so much for the support, and I thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.